What's going on, fam? So, want to talk to you real quick about some ascension symptoms, right? And some of the the DNA upgrades that our body is going through um, in the background. So, to make a long story short, um, during my month that I had been on my hiatus, right, um, the month of May, um, I thought that you know because i was i was feeling this 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 wave of depression these old old emotions flooding back i thought okay maybe that wasn't allowing me to eat right because i wasn't really eating well you know i was eating but it wasn't well i wasn't food prepping no more i wasn't making my breakfast i wasn't making my smoothies right and and um so I'm like, damn, why, why I don't feel like eating, you know, like why my stomach is having like a hard time, like receiving food and digestion and right. So then when I got out of the funk right now, coming into June, I'm like, OK, I feel better now. Now I feel like my old self. I feel happy. I'm good. I'm joyous. But why st- I still can't eat. Right. Like 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 I'm having trouble receiving certain foods. And so yesterday I, I took my car to the dealership for an airbag recall. For those of you that drive 2007 Honda Accords, I think it's like from 2003 to like 2007 or 2005 to 2007. Um, there's like an airbag recall for a replacement part. Um, make sure you do that, right? So I went to go do that. Honda replaces it for free and I'm, I'm, it took like two and a half hours. So I go to the, I go kill time. I go to this Mexican restaurant, order myself a chicken burrito, right? And I ordered a pina colada, right? And mind you, I don't drink, or at least if I drink is one drink, but I don't get drunk, but I rarely drink alcohol, but whatever. I enjoyed myself my pina colada yesterday. I haven't had any alcohol in months anyway. So it was just one little drink um, and it was, it was cool. It was good. I enjoyed it. Um, and I had gotten the pina coladas there before, so that's why I got it, but it was too much sugar, right? My body just doesn't want that. Um, and I, I barely could finish the burrito, right? My body hated me afterwards for that, that I thought I was gonna, like, I was feeling, like, I was feeling hung over, like I haven't been drinking. And even when I do drink, I don't get drunk. I repeat again, right? So why am I feeling like, why have I been feeling like I was hung over the whole month of May, especially the past couple of days and especially yesterday, right? I had cereal for, for brunch. I didn't even eat breakfast. I had flax cereal with hemp milk. Hemp, is, hemp milk is my favorite milk. I couldn't even finish it, right? And so I just came to the conclusion that, yo, right now, my body doesn't want anything, right? My body, all my body wants is water, tea, iced tea, coffee, right? Coffee's a super drink, by the way. You get some good quality coffee. It has very powerful antioxidants and nutrients that's good for the body, but you got to know when to drink it. <laughs> Excuse me. You got to know when to drink it and how to drink it in between meals, right? So you got to... You know, there's this, this, this a science too. It's a, you know, coffee and then my body wants fruits, you know, um, depends on the type of fruit and veggies, depending on the type of veggies and salads. My body wants fresh, refreshing salads and lots of water. That's all my body wants. And that's how I pretty much been for the month of April. And I sporadically, you know, binged on little things, little snacks, um, I weighed myself on the scale, right? I weighed myself on the scale early this week. I think it was either Sunday or Monday. It was Monday, Monday morning. I weighed myself on the on the scale this week, Monday morning. And when I weighed, I saw my, I had, I said to myself, you know what? Let me go weigh myself, right? And I'm like, I probably be in April. I got up to my normal weight to 140, right? Between 135 and 150 is like my normal weight. Um, and mind you, I'm skinny as hell, as you've seen. So it's all muscle. Like, I'll gain that weight in all muscle. Right? And I'm still slim. Um, so I, I got up to 140 in April. Last year, in August, I dropped to 117 because I got sick. Man, I was frail. 
right? It took a long time to get back up to my normal weight of 135. I exceeded it, went to 140, right? Eating very healthy, eating very well. Um, but then May hit, and I told you that this regular eating, I thought I dropped to like 125, 130, right? When I weighed myself on Monday. Yo, I weighed myself on Monday, I gained five pounds, I'm 145, miraculously, right? So I'm glad I'm not underweight, right? Because being underweight brings problems, you know? Um, it brings health problems, believe it or not. It's not, it's not a healthy thing. Um, so I was happy about that, that I'm not underweight, that I didn't, you know, because I've been doing a lot of, a lot of fasting, intermittent fasting, just, you know, I got to go. I got. I need to go buy my juicer parts again for my uh, juicer, so I can. My body wants to juice. Oh my God! You don't even know, right? And I haven't felt like this in ten years. The last time I felt like this was in the year 2012, and that's where. That's why I went vegan. I went full blown vegan in 2012, right? Around this time, summertime. Um, it's funny how things come full cycle. So. That's all my body wants. My body wants light foods, light energy, high quality water, right? Energizing water, energized water, water. Excuse me, a little burp. My body doesn't want the heavy stuff. My body wants to detox, cleanse, and it wants to stay light. Um, so I'm not going to get into diet and what you should eat or should not eat. But just know that right right now we're going through DNA upgrades. There's energetic upgrades. There's a lot of spiritual things happening in the spirit world. Right. Many spiritual things happen in the spirit world. And it's funny because uh, someone someone wrote wrote a comment not too long ago about, bro, you should look into breath breath and areaism. And yeah, I know about breath and areaism. Right. And sun gazing, right? But you got to get to that. You just don't do that from one day to the next overnight. That That's a gradual process. But, um, but yeah, I mean, shit. <laughs> I mean, you could say that's another thing I've been living off of the past month. You know, proper breathing and sunlight. Aside from, you know, because like all these days, I just been getting by on a, on a little over a thousand calories when I'm supposed to consume over 2,500 supposed to quote unquote you know according to this material world but surprisingly my weight has held up so these dense foods right especially like the red meats they're blood foods right that contain a, a, a lot of dense energy it's very low vibration because it's dense it's physical it's it's down to the earth but it's it's carnal it's 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 not plants so plants are a lot lighter because plants don't have all the components that make up flesh, right? Flesh is, is a complex network of a lot of things, right? And, um, and then on top of that, toxins, enormous amounts. Like if you want to cleanse and detox, you vegan, right? Because, because, you know, toxins are stored. Toxins are efficiently stored in the fat cells of all organisms, right? All organisms. So that that organism, the cow, the chicken, the goat, right? Especially the bigger animals. So cows, goats, you know, um, whatever other bigger animals you eat. They have livers and kidneys just like we do. They're, they're cleansing just like we do. They detox just like we do. Right. Except that pig, that pig, that pig doesn't detox like we do that. That pig is a whole nother monster. Right. Yeah, you should stay away from that damn pork. I'm telling you. But um, but these 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 animals, they they detox. Right. They're detox. They have they have cleansing systems. They have kidneys and livers and there th th doesn't stop cleansing. And when that animal is killed, the animal is killed with whatever toxins is present in that meat. It's 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 frozen in that meat when you when it's killed. So if you're going to be eating this flesh all the time, you would do best to eat grass fed, grass finished, open pasture raised animals. Right. That are a lot less tox that, ha that are loaded with a lot less toxins. So if your body is rejecting the junk foods, the fast foods, all these sugary snacks and sugary drinks, if your body is rejecting that's because your body is desperately wants to cleanse. 
it's 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 not a matter of you know it's not even a matter of i want to be healthy like like you you're like your body is taking charge for those of you that are going through this you're probably like wondering damn why my appetite all out of whack your body wants fresh water i'm telling you pure clean fresh water the highest quality water it wants the proper nutrients vitamins and minerals it wants these plants it wants this tea this is what your body wants especially in this time right and it's important because purifying the vessel allows for a much more potent spiritual connection right that's what purifying the vessel does but um anyways i just wanted to do a little heal thyself video right I just wanted to do a little heal thyself video and um and that's why that's why um that's why you're, you're that's why you don't have an appetite for certain foods right now right um and it's okay um inform yourself right and explore these these different plant foods and alternatives you know there's plant-based yogurts. There's plant-based milks, right? There's, there's nothing wrong with that, you know. But um, you find what you like and you nourish yourself and you give yourself time. And also the fasting, right? The fasting, I've been doing even more of that. And it has totally been helping once again, right? Um, and I love it. I, I, I love it, but I'm not gonna I'm not going to lie to you. I still feel discomfort right now. Like right now I'm very gassy. Um... I just I just don't want heavy foods, but take care of yourself. Be kind to yourself. You know, get that high quality water in you. You know, step your tea game up, and eat good wholesome salads, some some good fruits. You know, um, really treat your body well, the same way you treat your car well, right? I've said this before. You're not gonna put diesel in a gasoline engine, right? And you're not gonna put the wrong quality oil the wrong oil rating in your in your vehicle right you're not going to put the wrong antifreeze in the, your antifreeze so give your body what it needs and what it's asking you you know really get in tune with what you know make sure you give yourself that alone time to be able to intimately communicate on a spiritual level with your body yeah that's facts because your body is telling you something right your body your body is a living organism within itself that is micromanaged by billions upon billions of um, your gut flora, you know, your bacteria and, and the such. All kinds of good probiotics that are, that are living in your gut and throughout your body. That's facts and it has a mind of its own. And it knows what it, it, knows what it needs to do to keep your body functioning and take it to the next level. With that being said, peace and love. I did forget to say one quick thing, right? Um, so again, this is not advocating for anybody to go vegan or that you should eat this or that. You can eat, do whatever you wish. You have to decide what's best for your body and when. But again, um, if you're having these symptoms where like you're having trouble where, uh, damn, why, why can't I eat the foods that I want? Like, why is my body not receiving the foods that I like to eat? Well, if you consume a lot of flesh, right, the bigger animals, the bigger the animal, the more toxins it stores in its flesh, right, in its fat cells. Um, and the bigger the animal, the more fear it stores, all right, if it was abused, right, and especially during slaughter. So um, even even the, the, the animals that are like grass fed, grass finished, um, and uh, pasture raised, like, the slaughter is the same as as any other slaughterhouse and factory farm right um what you think that because the animals are being taken to a private room or they're being slaughtered behind a wall so the other animals don't see it that the other animals don't know that that animal just died is screaming in pain um and is suffering and is is, is and that they're next you think that they don't know this right but some humans think that animals don't 
are not intelligent or they don't have a soul they don't have feelings they don't have a spirit right they don't have emotions which is all bullshit so that fear right that adrenaline rush that has been released even before during and after the slaughter and the fear that was instilled in it the fear that that was growing inside of it before during and after the slaughter before and during the slaughter um that fear is trapped in it um and that vibration right that fear is in it and that vibration we consume we absorb that so essentially what we're doing is you know whether we eat plants or whether we eat animals whether we even whether we eat plants or animals what we're doing is in a nutshell is we're essentially killing killing one life form right to put that life form inside of us to prolong our days we absorb we kill that life form to absorb its life essence to then increase prolong our days and increase our life right so that we can make it on to the next day so on and so forth how we've been living for for so long right but the more fear that is present in the animal aside from the toxins so you got the toxins but then you also have the fear energy and then that fear energy then interferes with us right so your body right now wants to detox from the toxins and it wants to detox from the from the um the old fear patterns right so that's why you know your body's not receiving it's it's really a spiritual thing and a vibrational thing so your body's not your body right now wants to cleanse i'm not saying that you will, will go vegan i don't know that's up to you i'm not advocating going vegan and i'm not even vegan right but if anything i'm more vegetarian right and um and i definitely you know can tolerate fish more than anything but i haven't eaten that recently but you can do whatever you want to do but if your body's rejecting it right now it's because your body wants to upgrade your body wants to cleanse your body wants to minimize the things that you know um um that will slow down um your spiritual progress right and that fear right now is very important it's very important that we don't consume massive amounts, especially the red meats, right? Because those red meats, um, they are these big animals, so they 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 hold the greatest amount of fear vibration versus a chicken, right? Um, it's very important right now because that fear doesn't serve us in these times. All right, peace and love.